Hey guys, it's Sean here. Today we're going to be looking at how to properly set your PC graphics um, using in-game settings. I say in-game because I think they're more stable, um, although most graphics control panels will allow you to override those settings. But we're just going to be using in-game. Uh, first we're going to use an example of the game Delta Force Extreme. You, and there I'm about 200 FPS because it's an old game compared to BF3 where I'm about 50 to 70 FPS on Ultra. Um, the quality of the image versus performance is basically the theme of this video. Um, any edits are going to be geared for FPS play. Um, basically it's how well can you spot targets and how good your frame rate is um, while doing that. Uh, with a target of 60, basically your eyes can't really see much better than 60, or see much of a difference. Um, extra is just kind of a buffer um, in graphically intense environments, like you know if you're normally 80 FPS and then someone launches a rocket and you see a big explosion, um, that might lower your FPS, but as long as it stays above 60 then you don't even notice it, so anything above 60 you just buffer. Um, in an RTS, uh, you might probably just want it to look nice, you don't really need that much detail. Um, so that's why I'm not really going to gear this tutorial to an RTS, it's just make it look nice and have a good FPS. Um, whereas um, in a first person shooter game, not very interesting, um, you will need to uh, worry about your long range um, vision. Basically. Alright, so before I start uh, editing anything, I'm going to show you what my current graphics are set at, just to give you an idea of how bad it is. So, just start here. Now, these are those settings in action. Now, um, this is assuming you have absolutely no knowledge of um, graphics at all. So, we're just going to go through everything. So, obviously, first most important by far resolution um, the higher the better um, the more pixels on the screen the more definition simple as that um, this game for some reason it has this option but it doesn't let me support it so I'll just go to here alright so the resolution is set now we're gonna go through these guys oh one thing um, first of all let's say if I click this oh maximum performance set it for me it puts my resolution lower and it puts some of these guys at high and some of them at low um, don't ever trust these when it says maximum detail, maximum performance. I would go through it yourself if possible, or just double check it, because it's just not right. <laughs> Alright, so, first of all, um, one random thing here, gamma, this is obviously darkness, brightness, um, while the default is going to be set at something that looks more like real color, um, if you want to call it that, I tend to go a little bit brighter. Um, it depends on the game, though. Some games you don't need it at all. But uh, if you're playing a game where there is lots of darkness, um, if you want to actually see your enemies, you can turn up your gamma. Um, in this case, it's to the left, but who knows. Um, all right, moving on. Basically, it's kind of the same as brightness. Terrain poly detail. Um, poly is in polygons. Polygons are kind of like the framework that... Uh, um, kind of like the structure of your environment or your objects, whatever. So, to give you an idea, um, if you have a sphere, in any game it's usually made out of polygons. Um, if it only is made out of uh, like six polygons, it's not going to look like a sphere, you know. It's, well, obviously, <laughs> it's going to look like a six-sided faced ball. Um, so, if you had your gun... Um, at least on your screen, it appears like that, even though in the game, it's supposed to be a sphere. So if I was trying to shoot through one of the edges of that in the game, it would um, I would probably actually hit it, even though I don't see the polygon there. Um, I may not have explained that very well, but the point is that in order to see exactly what you're supposed to, to get a better representation of, um, say, what a hitbox is supposed to be in the game, or what a flat surface is actually supposed to end at, you want to have this as high as possible. This um, this can be intense on your graphics. It depends on the game, um, but if possible, put it on high. Texture detail. Um, when it comes to textures, that's kind of like the paint job. 
Um, you could put it to high if you're one of those people that really likes your eye candy. However, for me, um, for the purpose of first-person first shooting gaming, um, I like to actually have it on low or normal. The reason being, um, it makes guys blend in less with the environment because um, there's less to see, but also j there's just less distractions. Um, and the lower the texture detail, obviously, the... Um, the higher your frames per second is going to be so that's one of the reasons why i like to have a low but mostly it's just i don't like the distraction so again kind of the same deal here poly poly so i'll put this to highest for some reason i don't know why it has these blanked out something to do with my graphics card doesn't like it in this old game i don't know anyways i'm forced to put this to low otherwise i would have put it to normal uh we'll get back to anti-alias because that one's really important pixel shader support we're just going to put this guy to normal don't know too much about that to be honest. Um, water quality. In this particular game, you'll you'll probably want to check it out in whatever game you play. Some things don't make much of a difference, some make a lot. In this one, high looks almost the exact same as low, so I'm just going to put it to low. Shadows. Obviously, if you're going like maximum performance, you want to go off. In this case, I would recommend low because in any shooter game, um, Seeing a guy's shadow can give him away, so we'll keep it there, even if it looks like not so great. Um, <laughs> particle density. This is, um, think of fog on the screen. You could have many particles representing that fog and make it actually look like fog, or it could, well, not be, and it could just look like um, a bunch of 2D shapes put together or something like that. Um, so we're just going to put that at, say, normal, so that it doesn't, well, okay, I'll put it at low, because I don't care. Although some people really like their fog to actually look like fog, or their smoke from their gun to actually look like smoke. Um, frame effects is going to be kind of similar to basically what that's going to do. They work differently, obviously, but it's kind of going to be the same thing. I'll just point to minimal. Um, for example, with this, let's say if I was to launch a uh, AT4, um, like a rocket, it would the smoke trail behind it or the explosion after would um, kind of look like a paper helix coming out the back of it with low effects, whereas um, otherwise it would actually look like you know like a smoke trail, like it's supposed to, maybe even some fire bursting out the back, whatever. Um, texture filtering. I have this set to bilinear. That's kind of what I like to keep it at, um, just because this game doesn't make really much of a difference between anastrophic high and bilinear, my opinion. Although most games, it is a big difference, similar to anti-alias. Um, while this isn't correct, the best way that I can describe what this does is kind of like um, a draw distance. So things that are at a distance, um, it will render them farther out. Um, that's kind of the best way I can describe it, but in this game it doesn't matter that much, so I'm just going to put it up by linear. Texture, although normally you'd put it at anastrophic something. Um, texture compression. Um, we'll just put this at maximum. Most games don't even have that option. I'm just going to kind of skip that one. Full screen anti-alias. So anti-aliasing is... Um, it's generally... When you're going to notice the most is you're looking at a hill or the edge of an object, a rounded edge, and you notice that close up, it look, or even far away, it looks like little um, step blocks, like it's, a, it's like a staircase rather than actually a smooth line. Now what anti-alias is going to do, it's going to kind of, well, without getting technical, it's going to round it out for you. Um, so for now, as an example, we're going to leave that off, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Given these current settings. Alright, so, let's look at the uh, side of that hill there. You may not be able to see it too well, but staircase. Um, staircase all along there those trees are staircases they're not smooth trees um, if I go really close up to here staircase uh, it's not too bad but 
it's there. Um, now the main thing why you want to anti-alias on, especially in a long range game like this, is that if you're trying to see a guy's head popping over the ridge of that hill, um, with anti-aliasing off, sometimes his head will blend into one of those little jagged edges. Um, whereas with anti-alias on, that's a smooth edge, and his head popping over the top barely is also a smooth edge. You can see that guy's face. <laughs> whereas with it off, you cannot. Simple as that. So we're going to turn that to times four. Um, times four is what matters the most, although you can usually go higher. You may just not be able to see it that well. So, let's see, uh... There, you little jagged edge. Much smoother, less of a staircase. Less of a staircase. Run faster with a knife. <laughs> less of a staircase. It smoothed it right out. So now if a guy's head is peeking over there, I can actually shoot it off. Rather than wonder if that's part of the hill. Alright, so that about um, finishes it for this. I will go on to BF3, which I'll kind of run through faster. Alrighty, so here I have everything set to low graphics, except for my resolution, which I still have high. You'll notice that BF3 still looks pretty nice, even with low graphics. Uh, that smoke looks pretty real. <laughs> More real than anything in the last game we were looking at. Um, the texture on the hill is still pretty decent. So, let's see what happens when I turn everything up. Like I said, my full screen resolution was still at the most, which was part of the reason why it still looks great. Um, just going through everything. Brightness, I have slightly, just slightly higher than uh, average. Um, vertical sync. Don't turn this on unless you notice that uh, your screen is what they call tearing. Um, that parts of it aren't aligning with it or with the rest of it. Um, usually this will happen when you're spinning or something intense is happening. Um, but don't turn it on otherwise. Field of view. This is degree wise. In this game they have it um, vertical. I think in Black Ops it actually is horizontal left to right. Um, the more you can see the better chance you have to uh, see an enemy. Although, of course, this is going to be more intense in your graphics card because it's the more the more you're seeing, the more that it has to show you and compute. Um, motion blur. I actually hate motion blur. Um, let's see what happens with it on. It is harder to target in on something right away at the end of your spin. So that personal preference, I like to have it off. So we'll turn that down, turn it off here. Um, stereoscopic, I just, oops, I forgot to turn that on before, but we'll just keep it off. Um, if I was to turn everything to high, oops, off. Now not everything will come into effect until I restart the level, however, the textures have gotten a little bit better. Um, to be honest, a lot of it isn't actually that noticeable. Like I said, BF3 looks good to begin with. Um, but overall, it is still pretty nice. Now, um, if I was to set it for me, so that I could see well and um, not be distracted by all the nice things, I would probably go medium, 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 medium. Keep anti-aliasing as high as possible. Anti-alias, motion blur off. This one I'd probably turn to 8 because I can't notice much on 8 on 16. Um, I would probably put it right here. If I was to go for um, see enemies the best and be distracted the least. And still have good um, oops, frames per second. Ow. Alright guys, um, that's about it. Thanks for watching. I'll probably be doing a PC tweaking guide soon. Um, just in generals for Windows 7, general for Windows 7, and I'll be doing more game reviews. Alright guys, thanks for watching, see you later. This video is part of the Way Movement, a career path in video sponsored by TGN. To learn more, visit TGN.tv.